grits, football, friendly smiles, sunshiny days, and of course, mama's homemade sweet tea. Where else could we be other than the truest country living, country loving, southern state, Georgia. When we think about Southern culture, civil rights is something that has fused into Southern history. There have been a lot of advancements um, from the movement that, that happened, the voting, the um, just awareness nationwide. There's a long ways to go, as, as we know from, from low, you know, recent events of um, police violence and Black Lives Matter. But it is a lot different than it was in the 60s. People that were here during the civil rights movement and saw what happened and what happened before and what happened after. So I think that's why here in the South, that's why everybody's so nice and friendly because they can remember how it used to be. The leader of the civil rights movement was no other than Atlanta-born Martin Luther King Jr. Um, you can definitely see the legacy that Dr. King has left here on the city. And I think the reason why the city is so well now is because the civil rights movement did take place here. Um, world Peace Garden that is planted here, there are several around the world. Um, to honor the ideas that, that he promoted, the nonviolence and the peaceful demonstrations. Say, tell them not to mention that I have a Nobel Peace Prize. That isn't important. Tell them not to mention that I have three or four hundred of awards. That's not important. Tell them not to mention where I went to school. <laughs> Much like the civil rights movement, religion has had a big influence on Southern culture. Religion is woven so intricately to the Southern culture, um, it can't be separated. I think in this part of the South, the culture of Baptist is much more important than this part of the country. But whether you're talking Catholicism or Protestantism or Judaism or any religion, um, it is the fundamental bedrock of the Southern culture. In many families, religion plays a big role in the upbringing of children. Your parents bring you up in whatever faith your family expresses. Um, I did, like I said, live in Valdosta. It was a very big part of my children's life when they were growing up. We went to Wednesday night supper, we went to Sunday school, we did Bible school, we did all of that. Um, and it was a major part of our cultural existence at that point. Even though Sundays are reserved for church, every other day is wide open for sports in the Southern culture. It gives us more of a family vibe. Uh, Southern hospitality is really, really, uh, is, a, is a big thing, so to speak. Uh, so when you talk about sports down here versus sports up north, it brings us together. Camaraderie is a whole lot different than I feel like anywhere else. Sports have a huge impact on Southern life, starting at an early age. I think sports are huge in the South. It's kind of, you know, at, from a young age, you're pretty much because of the weather, you know, you're sent outside, so you either start playing football, basketball, baseball, just running around, any type of, you know, athletics. Um, I'm from Atlanta. I love Atlanta everything. Atlanta Falcons, Atlanta Hawks. Um, I'm a big UGA fan because I'm from the South, of course. It helps develop a certain uh, level of hospitality, a little unity, uh, team aspect. Um, and what it means to me, uh, camaraderie, man, it just represents where I'm from. I love where I'm from. I love the state of Georgia. Um, I love being in the South. I love being from the South. So uh, that's what it represents to me. After a good game, fans usually hit the streets to find some good old Southern style cookies. I think what makes true Southern food is its comfort food. It's a Southern. It's southern roots. The fact that it started in a small town. So it was maybe developed by our grandmothers or maybe even uh, old slave traditions and the like. And it's just comfortable and good tasting. It's not just food that draws people to these restaurants. It's the sweet southern style atmosphere that really captivates the customers. When you're out eating, people are a little, little more friendlier than versus uh, going into a uh, a fancier type restaurant like uh, Ruth Chris or something like that. Make sure as owners is, is that A, we've got that southern hospitality, 
that when our, our employees are amazing, they treat people with that, that I don't know, that respect that you only get from, the, you know, in the South. Yeah, I think, I think the hospitality thing just goes to a way of doing things. It's not an accent you have, a belief you hold, a type of food you eat, or a team you root for. A true Southerner knows. It's not the South that creates the culture, it's the people.